Hello and welcome. I'm Sajivini Priyangika Vendako. Uh, English for written communication. Topic 2. Communication models. A theoretical perspective. Learning outcomes. Identify important elements in the communication process. Describe four models of communication. Explain the significance of the roles of signs, symbols and metaphors of meaning and interpretation. Models of communication. We learn about models of communication in order to help you better understand the nature of communication. Several models of communication to show you how various thinkers have tried to explain the communication process. Let's take Cloud Channels model, which shows the information is transmitted from a source to a channel to a receiver. In, channel, in channels model, the encoding and recording on information is of primary importance. Put simply, encode is to compose the message, while decode means to interpret the message. The process of encoding information for transmission and decoding received information is affected by noise. When you go to page number 17, you would see this. Cloud channels model communication starts source, it has a channel and the receiver. Next, Roman Jacobson's model is particularly suited to explain written communication as it takes into account code, the language you write in, beside the other major elements like writer, reader, context, message and the contact. However, it is, does not take into consideration factor for communication such as motives. On page number 18, the writer, context, contact, it has a code, a message and the reader. Model of, based on Ulrich Nelson's work, this model is specially relevant in written communication. We write guided by our ideas, beliefs, and motivation. As we write, we explore, discover, and learn. The information we produce triggers us to start thinking of new ideas. These new ideas influence our beliefs, and so the exploration cycle begins again, which is on page number 19. The guide needs ideas, image of the world, new information, effect and the exploration. Model based on Michael Polanyi's work. Michael Polanyi was a philosopher who work contributed significantly to our understanding of written communication. He argues that a person needs to be actively engaged in the process of knowing and highlight the importance of the tacit dimension. That fact that we know more than we say and that we often say more than we realize. It is on page number 20. Let's look at summary of communication, model, the ideas. Cloud Shannon, the encoding and decoding of information is of primary importance. In Roman Jacobson's, the contact is your medium of communication. Ulrich Nelson's perception is exploratory and re recursive. We explore our world or a specific phenomenon guided by our desires, needs, ideas, images of the world. The last one, Michael Polanyi. The meaning that the read discover in the text may not be as intended by the writer. Some ideas about communication. Communication is a dynamic process. Over the years, there have been changes not only in the way we communicate, but also in the code or language form used. This section introduced briefly to the signs, symbols and abbreviations commonly used in written communication as they may have meaning, interpretation unique to particular context. And a failure to understand it can also cause a breakdown in communication. 
sign symbols and abbreviations sign symbols and abbreviation are important in written communication in fact signs and symbols are both primitive uh, precursors of the written language as well as important modern modern supplement to it they proceeded with the this western alphabet as a form of writing however the meaning they convey is culture bound may or may not get interpreted correctly thereby affecting the effectiveness of the communication you can see which is on page number 22 and 23 so that is about the uh, theoretical perspective of communication i hope you enjoy the lesson and thank you so much